Hi everyone, this is Corey with Camera Coach. Thanks for joining me today. We are going to add on to our series about lenses. Today specifically, we're going to talk about aperture. So what is aperture? Aperture is the opening inside the lens that lets the light into your camera. So what does aperture really do? Uh, great question. Here are two ways that aperture affects your pictures. Number one, it affects your exposure. So the larger that opening, which means the smaller the f-stop, basically, then the more light you can let into that camera, right? And so you'll get a better exposure that way. But as you use those larger apertures, it's going to affect your depth of field, okay? And so that means that the amount of the, the photo that is in focus will actually be smaller. So you'll get increase in exposure, but a decrease in your depth of field. Um, and so if you ever see those photos, those portraits, where the person is in focus and the background is this blurry, nice, creamy, kind of cool looking thing. Well, that's usually taken at a really, really large aperture. Uh, so it focuses in on the person and then it quickly blurs everything around it. Okay, and so again, high exposure and then low depth of field. Which that is great for portraits, but sometimes you really don't want that. And what you may want is to have a smaller opening maybe f8, f11, something like that, that's a lot smaller. Um, and then you wanna get as much in focus as possible. It is measured in f-stops. Normally, when you see aperture, you are going to see it written with an f and maybe a little fraction number there and then something, a fraction bar and then a number, right? So you might see something that's taken at f4, okay? So if it's taken at f4, what does that really mean? What they've done is they've actually made a ratio to show you the diameter of the opening inside the lens, how big that, that opening actually is. So roughly speaking, if you have an 85 millimeter lens um, and you're shooting at f4, that means that your diameter is about 21 millimeters across. So it's doing some math there, uh, but if you understand what it's telling you, you can quickly kind of tell uh, whether you've got a large or small opening. If you have, a lens that, let's say this uh, 18 to 140 millimeter lens, uh, has an aperture that starts off at 3.5. So f3.5 is the largest aperture that this lens particularly will have. And then it will go up to 5.6. So these are the largest apertures in that range from 18 to 140. So as this lens zooms, or as you change the focal length, the minimum number there, that largest aperture, will change. You cannot shoot at f3.5 at 140. Uh, it just actually will change on you. And when you're looking, if you look actually at the display here, as I'm changing it, right, it's going to go up to 5.6. So that's enough talking about the effects of, that, of the aperture. Let's take a look at some examples. Here are three photos. The first photo is taken at an aperture of f2.8. So you can see that there is a portion that is in focus, um, but you're gonna have some blurring uh, because of that depth of field changing so quickly. Here's the same photo at f8. So you can see that obviously it's not as bright. This was not edited, so it's not as bright. Uh, less light came in, but you can also tell that there's more of the photo that's in focus. So the depth of field on that photo was a lot better. Uh, so this is something that you have to play around with, really experiment with, and, and get to know very well. Even if you're shooting an automatic, the camera chooses this feature for you, but you'll have to know if, if it's not producing the photo that you want, then you, you may want to change into a different mode where you can affect the aperture. Uh, so that way it, it'll turn out the way you want. Hopefully this all made sense and uh, is, is helpful, but really the only way you're gonna understand aperture is to play around with it. Okay, so you gotta grab your camera, you've gotta get it out of automatic, and you just need to see what you can do with that camera and, and with adjusting the aperture. Okay, and two quick modes to do that, you can go to aperture priority where you change it to an aperture and then the, com the camera controls everything else. Um, or you go into full manual mode where you can adjust shutter speed, aperture, and ISO, and everything else, really, um, and just play around with it, okay? Uh, so if that was helpful, we ask that you would subscribe, uh, like, share it with someone else that may benefit as well. 
um, and check out our website for updates. Um, you can check out our social media too uh, if you're more social media type. Uh, we do have a Facebook page. The handle for that one is Photo Camera Coach. And then Instagram, uh, which is just Camera Coach. We'd love to hear from you if you have more suggestions about what we can cover next. And we will gladly respond and uh, we look, to making, look forward to making plenty more videos. That's all for now. This is Corey signing off. Have a great day.